Hello, and welcome back to this playthrough of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. I am Scutlist, and after saving all of the sentient household goods at the end of the last episode, it's time to go have a talk with Beast. As Mrs. Potts just said, we have to talk to Cogsworth about the hidden passage. As a dork for medieval stuff, I just like looking at knightly suits of armor. But let's keep going. Okay, on top of Lumaire's explanation, another thing to mention is that you need Lumaire and Mrs. Potts both wi with you to do this reaction command, and they and Lumaire and Mrs. Potts have a tendency to get stuck on these crates, so be sure to clear a path for them through through the crates. If if you work fast, you can get take care of the three unlit lanterns before Cogsworth loses his grip even once. Like this. Okay, our destinization is through there, but- oh, treasure chest. Yes, our destinization is up those stairs, but let's grab some of the other stuff in this room first. We have two treasure chests for starters. And then some puzzle pieces. And I saw the other one over here. See, and is that everything? It looks to be. Let's get going. Okay, the West Hall. That's the room we were in, where we found the sentient wardrobe. You can even see the door she was blocking over there. 
After our business with the beast, these two statues will move away, allowing allowing us to go to the beast's room without the hidden passageway nonsense. Anyway, the gargoyle statues with axes can be fairly hard-hitting, so they should probably take top priority in any group of enemies you find. At least, at least in light of the, uh, general enemy selection in Beast's Castle. Let's see, a heart puzzle piece. Right then, the beast should be right through here. It's time you dealt with Belle. She's scheming to take everything you have. This castle, your precious rose, and then your life. Trust no one. Feed your anger. Only anger will keep you strong. I've had enough of strength. There's only one thing I want. What? To love and be loved in return. Who could ever love a beast? <laughs> See? She has accomplices. Hey, Prince. So now we have a boss fight with Beast. And if you know what you're doing, it's actually very easy to get complete this boss fight without getting hit once. It's mostly the wake up reaction command th th that allows this. It stuns the beast and doesn't really have much of a cooldown. Of course, I managed to just get hit right there. You know, I've never been sure what Cogsworth is saying when you when you do the reaction command. He's saying, control yourself or compose yourself. Compose yourself. But anyway, that's that. Cogsworth, what happened? Well, Master, uh, you see, that is, how shall I say, uh, actually, um... Well, you got everybody down there and not dead yet. I did what? Eh, uh, you did. Who was that guy you were talking to? The one in black? <gasps> Zaldan. <sighs> That's his name. He came from the darkness. He used my anger to control me. He took all my sorrow, my sadness, my pain and turned it all into rage. There was nothing I could do. I could no longer see the truth. Well, all be. That must be why you threw all of your friends down there into the dungeon. You wanted to make sure that you didn't hurt them, right? What was that it? Was it to protect them? Sure. We know you're good inside. He's right, Master. We've all seen how kind you can be. After all, 
Beryl can see the goodness in your heart, but I'm afraid you've yet to... Oh. Oh. I've mistreated her. I've mistreated her and been so selfish. She didn't say anything about that. She'd never tell anyone of my cruelty. She's too good. You see, I'm afraid he judges himself far too harshly. Why don't you just go talk to her? But... No excuses. Come on, we'll go with you. Okay, just like the first Kingdom Hearts, there are world-specific party members. And just like Kingdom Hearts, it's normally Donald who gets the boots. Okay, as the menu just said, the party... The party button is now here. Problem with it is that it takes the place of the item slots. I prefer to just keep it with items. And another puzzle piece. See, we cleared out this room on the way here, so no enemy should... Never mind. Okay, let's discuss this. There's some kind of l l limit break option with world-specific party members. It's not very exciting, though. And because of that, I prefer not to use them. There are a few that are kind of good, but for the most part, uh, I avoid them when I can. Anyway, let's clear out this hallway. Oh, I just spied a treasure chest. On the subject of treasure chests, I'll mention that- why is my MP draining? Anyway, I'll, me I'll mention on the subject of treasure chests that, uh... In the first Kingdom Hearts, if enemies were nearby, you could not open a treasure chest. But in this game, you can open a treasure chest in the middle of battle. Actually, let me, d let me demonstrate that. You can open tre treasure chests even when enemies are around this time. Uh, oh, I, I said I don't like these limits, but I do tend to reflexively use them when uh, I see the tri triangle command option doing something. Okay, I guess doing that l l l limit with the beast is what m was making my MP drain earlier. I would have been kind of surprised if they had already taken both of them out. Something else spawned on the stairwell. Oh, a large body. Quite a bit of enemies around here. Whoa! Okay, this is getting a bit annoying. Let's just get to Bell's room.
Whoa, whoa. I don't remember those enemies being particularly dangerous, but... I'm not changing from my view on it, but of these world specific limits, but I guess they do have a purpose or two. Alrighty then, we have to go find Belle. I think she go. I think we find her in the ballroom, but um, this may be a decent time to end the episode. The next boss, which we will be fighting in the ballroom, I recall having a fair bit of tr tr trouble with it back in the day, so uh, let's not bite off too much in just one episode. So then, we will be completing our visit to Beast Castle next episode. Until then, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope to see you next time.